Hey! Today I'll be explaining how to change a few things for B-Swarm Simulator macros. There are timestamps in this video so you can skip to the next topic if you want. Macros are based on the creator's screen size, this can also mean that they are in full screen. You might need to change the coordinates of mouse clicks, first you need to open your macro and locate a mouse command, like this. When you have this opened hold your mouse on a safe spot, so it doesn't click any hotkeys or other things. This can be in the middle of your screen or above your hotkeys. When you have done this press the key F2. Now moving on to hive orientation. Sometimes when you reset your character you'll face your hive, and sometimes you will face the mushroom field. In most macros there is a check for this. If this doesn't work for you, you need to reset your character and face mushroom field. If you're not facing mushroom field you can press the key dot four times. Now locate this in your macro and double click the if image command. We are going to click on capture and make a screenshot of the inside of your honeycomb. Just like this. If you're done with this click on OK. Now test it and see if it works you can do that by facing your hive, just like in the video. Now open the if command again and click on test the if statement. If you're facing your hive it should say false. And if you're facing mushroom it should be saying true. Don't forget to save your changes in your macro. This should fix it. Moving on to bag check, this is one of the most important things in grinding macros. It will reset you once your bag is full, because convert macros are not reliable. Sometimes it doesn't reset you because the coordinates are wrong for your screen. You can change those coordinates if you locate the bag check. If you have found the bag check double click on if pixel color equals. We are going to change the coordinates. We can do this by clicking on capture. Then we are going to the end of your backpack. Just like this. When you are done with this press the key F2. Now we need to do one more thing and that is changing the RGB color text. We are going to manually type in F7. 0, 0, 1, 7. If you have done this click on OK. You can test this by having a full. Once you have a full bag click on test the if statement. This will say true. That was it for the video. I hope it helped you. If you're looking for some macro servers, look in the description there are a few listed in there. If have any suggestions for macro videos, or macros you can leave them down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.